if you know me, you know I'm a genius. Which is why today I've been challenged to play Professor Layton. If you've never played a Professor Layton game, they're classic puzzle games. What's my name? So long story short, there's a golden apple. We have to go to the nether to find the golden apple. Because someone died. The first puzzle is we have to find our way to the to the right village. Because sat navs don't exist in, in this century. My village is on the road that leads to no other town. That seems pretty simple. Well, you can't even get to these roads. So those two are off straight away. You can't get to that road. But you can only go to one road, so it must, must be this one. Surely? Like, the other, you just can't get to that. It, make, it makes no sense. Submit. First time. Well, here's my guess. Yes! One down. Four hundred to go. Hello, neighbor. Is this a hello, neighbor prequel that we just didn't know about? Hello, professor. So we need to lower this drawbridge to enter the village. What should we do? Swim. Throw the kid in. Could you drop the bridge? So we've made it to the village, and the guy that has to lower the bridge. He's a bit confused. <laughs> How is this your job? So we need to figure out which of these goes into there. You've got to use angles. So it's a it's a pentagon. It's not that one. It's got a corner between the two squares, so it can't be that one. So it must be number one. That should do it. It, it should do it, it really should. Yes! Oh, I'm not celebrating. That was easy. Two down. 399 to go. <laughs> Surely he could just shove him in each hole. That's what I normally do. <clears throat> Yo, you turn that big man. I still think we could have just, you know, swam. Barrel. Nope. I want a coin. Give me a coin. I want. I want a. Co Give me a. Co I want a coin. I want a coin. Give me a coin. Fine. I'll talk to the lady. What's up, Ingrid? Do you want me to help you with your crossword? Oh, before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you get. Pickerats. They say lovely things happen when you gather enough pickerats. For practice, try this riddle that your hat drew. My hat. My mushy monster hat. The four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hat are equally tall, but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and height that are the same length. Which hat is it? It's a very scientific way to figure this out. The finger measurer. After my scientific analysis, it is A. There we go. Yes! It's not much of a riddle, it's more of an optical illusion. Whatever it is, it means I'm clever. Fuck off, Ingrid. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually- That's not what I did! I got it right first time! I'll be rude for you to- Who are you, Ingrid? Who are- Why are- Who's a grandmother are you? What home have you escaped from? Hello, strange- Are you a- a paedophile? <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely. The name's Stash and Scarf and... I never got that as a kid. It's because it's got a stash and scarf on. Or he's German. Go tap that barrel back there with your stylus. I, I did that already. I tapped that style. I tapped it. I tapped it before! You're not a smart one. It's me. You have a bowl cut, bro. Hehe, <laughs> felt good, didn't it? Please. <laughs> I hope there's no schools in this town because... <laughs> you shouldn't be near them. Onwards! I don't need to save my game. I don't need. I don't need to. I'm smart enough to do it all in one go with my eyes closed. See, I am progressing. Am I in a cutscene? I'm in a cutscene. This is a very long cutscene. Hello. What? Oh. I beat the tutorial with my eyes closed. Kind of. Save your progress. No. Hit all the barrels. Hit the door. Clock. Oh no! I hit the clock. That clock tower is rather worse. All the way. What? What? Why are you just coming to a random village and just? Saying, oh, Big Ben looks shit. A 50 out, that's a hard one. Imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of the day? That's 1 to 12. So you've got 111, 222, 333, 444, 555. Then you've got 10 o'clock. Oh no, but it's got a zero. It's got a zero at the start, then you've got 1 o'clock, 111. 2 o'clock, 2.22, 3 o'clock, 3.33, 3 4 o'clock. I should have written that down. Come on, vamonos. Everybody, let's go. According to my calculations, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. It's so simple. It's 20. How does this sound? 
What do you mean? Oh, a.m. and p.m. Well, you didn't specify that, did you? In that case, it's 40. Three or more of the same in a row? No, I didn't think about that part. 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, 10 o'clock. How many am I on? Then 1110 through to 1119. That's another 10. So then you add 10. And then at 12 o'clock, you've got just 1222. 17, so that's 34. Time! Bit Barrel! Oh, hello. Oh, it's Percy. I'm Percy. If you solve my puzzle, I'll tell you about the village. I don't give a shit. Who are you, Percy? Where's my house? I don't care that your house is Percy. Go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right. Turn right again at the following intersection and you'll come face to face with the morning sun. The sun rises in the... East. So, we start looking this way, which is actually this way for me, but my camera's mirrored, so it's that way. But for you, it's... Th so for me, it's this way, but for you, it's that... The way the puzzle is, it's that way. It has to be a house that faces a unique direction. Let's get rid of this stupid puzzle. So it can't be any of these. It can't be this one, this one, or this one, because they all face the same direction. And this one, and this one, also face the same direction, so it's got to be you, or you. And because I just tried this one and it didn't work, it must be this one. Who needs to know what, which way's north, south, left, or right? Think outside the box. This is why I'd be good at Squid Game. It could work backwards, but I, it's not on a DS, so I can't just pick up my monitor and just turn it around. Fuck off, Percy. They own all the buildings. So it's like the Queen. So we're finding a golden apple for the queen. Why does that sound inappropriate? Oh, I found clicks on the door now. But Professor, isn't Lady Dahlia expecting us now? Then she shouldn't have given us a shit map. Oh, there's another wrong one. This man is blocking the path to Reinhold Manor. He wasn't that fat. Walk around him. Got ya, ha ha, ha ha. What's up, Steve? Marco. Polo. I don't trust you strange people going up to these very important houses. But I'll let you through if you can do my Sudoku. It's a tough one. It's not going to be easy. If you say so. 40. Lightweight. This puzzle is lightweight. Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Using the scale twice, you can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. Of course. Oh, I know this puzzle. Ah, see, it's a classic between us intellectuals. So we put three on each side and leave two off. So we're looking for the lighter one. So it's one, two, or three. Okay, so now we simply put one on there, two on there, leave three at the bottom. They're the same, which means three is a lighter one. It's like this game's for kids. Yes, I know how to do it. I did it right. Don't treat me like I'm a stupid pair of good sharp apples. I'm looking for an apple, a gold one. Have we satisfied you? Oh, good God. Is puzzle just a euphemism in the Professor Layton and we're just getting everyone off? Have I just ruined Professor Layton? Probably. Onwards. Oh, I remember this. This dodgy person. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> for all I know, you could just be another hoo 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 lagoon in a top hat. <laughs> I think I remember this puzzle from like nine years ago. It's one of the river crossing ones. So we have to get three wolves and three chicks to the other side of the river. But no more than two animals can ride on the raft at the same time. There must be at least one animal on the raft in order for it to move. If more wolves and chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks. So let's send two wolves over, one wolf back on. So we put a wolf and a chick on there. Oh! I thought I could move one back. So we put two wolves on there. Across they go. One wolf back on. Across you go. Then we put two chicks on. We put a wolf on. Oh! I thought I could move them quicker. So we have to move two wolves first. I do that, then I put the wolf on. Then they go back, and then both the wolves go on. Then one wolf goes back. 
and then both wolves go on and I do it in the most efficient way possible. Critical thinking is the key to success. <laughs> I should not be. How many tricks does it take me? Eleven. Exactly eleven. Oh yeah, like bless you. I remember being so proud when I solved that when I was ten, and I think I might be prouder now that I've solved it at the age of twenty. I was so proud when I did it the first time. I still remember solving it. Okay, why? Imagine having to cross a river to get to your house. Hey, chapter one is done. <laughs> how many chapters are there? Hey Siri, how many chapters in Professor Layton and the Curious Village? There's nine. 